Yeah, anyway, um, so right about now we have our guest in studio. He's not new to the East Acute family. I up before, so we just want to catch up to Juanini Amekua up to what projects he has in store for his fans and so much more. You know, he goes by the name Butros Mukangura, aka Call Me Buzz. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. A long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, <laughs> Just being busy a bit. I haven't done like some tracks for a while. Uh -huh. I was working on my album, okay. but yeah, now I'm back and I'm doing some drops. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of a dog. I need to tell you. On a Saturday morning. Yeah, it's, uh -huh. it's life. It's Nairobi. The weather is crazy, but yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, <laughs> so you have said that you were working on your album. So tell us yeah, a bit yeah. about that. Okay, my album, I've worked on it for like six months, mm -hmm. six, seven months tops. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called... That's a long time. <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of my craziest projects I've ever done. Uh -huh. I never take this long to do a project. Yeah. But this one, I just decided, let me just sit and just meditate on it for a while. Because uh -huh. yeah, I mm -hmm. know what I want from the project. Yeah. Because I was looking... Uh, my sound is like an international sound, so before you bring it to life, mm -hmm. you have to really put your mind to it. Mm -hmm. You are... You have to really just don't make music to make music. You yeah. have to sit down and just take your time in a way away from the world and just create. Mm -hmm. When you say <coughs> one of the craziest projects you've done, yeah. what do you mean? Okay, a previous, before I've done an album before, it took me like a month to do. <laughs> an, an album, a month? An album, yeah. So like writing for me, it's never an issue, doing uh -huh. music, because I can write a song in minutes and just drop it. But for the album, I thought I want it, like, I want my fans to resonate with me, like, to know me more. Like, mm -hmm. that's what it's called, look at my life. Oh, that is the meaning of L-A-M-L. L-A-M-L, yeah. <laughs> what does this mean? Yeah, so that was mm -hmm. the inspiration behind it. I wanted like people to see as much as you know like when you see someone you have a lot of perspective from it but you don't know the person yeah so for an artist i feel like there's a lot of assumption behind me before people know you mm -hmm. like someone looks at me just looks like this guy is a rich kid or this guy mm -hmm. does this shit that's the their assumptions yeah. some of the assumptions most of the assumptions yeah so you. Huh. Like I just wanted people to see the life behind the curtain too. As much as there is this life people portray, mm -hmm. there's so much about someone that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So I wanted like people to have an insight more in my life mm -hmm. than assumptions. So, yeah. Okay. So how many tracks does the album have so far? The ones uh, that you okay. have done. I've recorded more. Like I have a lot of songs in the vaults. Mm -hmm. So it's tricky because even the rollout, I haven't decided when I'm supposed to drop it. Yeah. Because I think for as an album, it takes time to, for if you know what you really want, it's not something you just drop. You can't just drop it and people don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that goes behind it. There's marketing, interviews, there's a lot of things. So the album I've been saying since last year, even my fans were like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> what's happening? Because I was supposed to drop it last year. Mm -hmm. That's when I went to Coast to shoot Look at My Life, the mm -hmm. official. But I was like, let me take my time because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I had the songs. Mm -hmm. But I was feeling if you just drop it, it won't make sense if you don't have the power behind it. Because I feel that those tracks are the best I've ever done yet so far. Okay. So I just don't want to mm -hmm. drop because mm -hmm. I'm dropping. Yeah. I want if I drop a project, mm -hmm the project goes somewhere, takes me to another level. Because mm -hmm. if it's songs, I have a lot of songs. Yeah. So I have like 14 selections for the album. Mm -hmm. I was planning I do, like this is the second video I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the first, then mm -hmm. the second was while playing. Mm -hmm. Then I plan to drop like two or three more videos mm -hmm. before I drop the album. Okay, yeah. all right. So before you drop the, you know, the entire album. Yeah. You know, I see most of the times when an artist is doing, dropping an album, yeah. they tend to just drop the songs and then wanna drop, wanna to pay a video kamoja kamoja, wanna to enjesha kamoja kamoja. So you, you, you're saying you have done um, this song and yeah. then why are you playing and then yeah. another one. Yeah. So <coughs> why did you take that route? I took that route because, as I said, uh, market, uh, I'm, I'm an independent artist. Mm -hmm. Like, I do everything myself. So recording, 
the recording process, the audio mixing, mastering. It's, you know, people just think we just go to the studio, record, and the track is out. Yeah. But that's not the process. Mm -hmm. There's the writing process, there's the recording process. After you have recorded, there's mixing, there's mastering. Before it's complete, it's just another process. Mm -hmm. So as for me, I thought, um, you know, like even you can be a big artist and you drop a project and people don't listen to it. Because mm -hmm. not everyone will go and listen to 14 songs. People get bored. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good you are doesn't really matter because mm -hmm. people have like a short span of attention <laughs> people listen to track one two three and be like nah i'm done with this mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's good yeah you know so like if you're doing a project and you're dropping 14 songs you have to like put a lot of money into it for mm -hmm. a lot of people to listen to it mm -hmm. and for as an independent artist it's kind of challenging because all the expenses is on you on you yeah yeah because mm -hmm. you know as an artist you have to have the look you have to have everything. It's mm -hmm. a package deal. Mm -hmm. If I came here looking differently, someone would take me serious mm -hmm. and be like, I'm not investing in my art. Yeah. yeah. So it's a process. For me, I feel like I, have to, I want to drop like, part of the album one by one, show people the process before I drop it all. Okay. So that someone can understand uh -huh. it better. All right. Yeah. Um, I think the last time you were here, y Skumbuki Kamu, you are still going by the name Call Me Buzz. I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> what changed? Okay, you know, like we are two butchers in the industry. Yeah. So I didn't want to feel like I'm feeding off him or uh -huh. it's a beef or something. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's my name. I'm mm -hmm. not going to change it. I like know. it's in my ID. That's what my dad called me. So I figured, let me just switch. And re that's why I didn't like remove music for like six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that I can rebrand myself right. to call me Buzz. You had taken a six months break? Yeah, as I was working on the album. Okay. So like coming out, mm -hmm. I was talking to my team and my team was like, let's just use call me Buzz because a lot of people already know me by Buzz. Mm -hmm. So instead of Butros, call me mm -hmm. Buzz. Buzz. That's why the Buzz is in capital. Oh, okay. Yeah, call me Buzz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, just on one final question before we wind up. Yeah. Um, your style of music is, yeah. you know, drill, rap, nini nini. And right now, the industry is vibing to more Abanton music. Is that yeah. something you have incorporated in your album? Or is that something you're planning to incorporate in the album? Okay. I've never thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. I can't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. If in future someone wants to do a collaboration, I don't mind collaborations. Yeah. But, you know, for me, I, my process of writing music, it's way different from theirs. Mm -hmm. But as an artist, you appreciate other people's music, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if someone can commercialize, commercialize music in a certain way, mm -hmm. that person, you have to give him respect, his or her respect. Yeah. So I don't mind doing collaboration as, mu as long as we do something that is unique. Because mm -hmm. even them, they have their own style of being unique. Okay. Yeah, but for me, mostly my album is pop sound. Mm -hmm hip-hop mm -hmm. and drill and trap. Okay. That's like majorly mm -hmm. focused, yeah. Um, so w tell me what was the inspiration behind, you know, the video of, um, why are you playing? Okay, why are you playing? <laughs> it was a trap video, you yeah. know, like most in Nairobi scene, like there's no, there's no like trap. The trap industry has been overlooked. Mm -hmm. People pay more attention to Gangeton and Abanton, yeah. So I just wanted to show like, Nairobi and mm -hmm. the world that mm -hmm. we exist. Mm -hmm. That's why I invested in the video. Mm -hmm. I had to go and shoot it in the backyard of Limuru mm -hmm. through Ngong. Yeah, th th that, that location yeah. looks very familiar to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh -huh. I really had to... So we had to go to the backyard because we you can see Ngong hills through it. Yeah. So we had to bring the trap vibe to Nairobi mm -hmm. properly so that people can stop overlooking trap music. Because okay. people listen to Migos and the rest, why not us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we wanted to, I wanted to introduce the trap music properly to Nairobi. Yeah. yeah. So w when, are, when are your fans expecting the rest of the songs to drop in the album? Mm. Or maybe okay. you can even um. start by telling us which is the next song you plan to drop? Okay. Uh, for the, the and I have already shot some videos. Mm -hmm. I'm still debating which one to drop, because I have, there's a song called All The Way. I've shot it with, with my friends. Then there's one called Picasso. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm debating which one to drop first because mm -hmm. all the videos are fire. Yeah. So I'm still thinking because my birthday is supposed to be end month, mm -hmm. April 30th. Ooh, so Taurus <laughs> is on. So I was like, yeah. uh, maybe I drop either after my birthday mm -hmm. or during. But I was thinking after because during my birthday, obviously, I'll be out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll incorporate more footage even because I don't like crashing my videos. Mm -hmm. I prefer my videos to be top notch. So I was thinking maybe after I can add more scenes for my birthday okay. in one of the videos, then I drop mm -hmm. another video. Mm -hmm. So probably they'll expect another song, maybe April, May, let's say May, mm -hmm. another song on May. Yeah. yeah, all right. So maybe you can share with you know our fans um, who have seen you for the first time where they can find your music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and on social media as well. My social media is Call Me Buzz. Oh, my social media. Hi, my social media is Call Me Buzz underscore. That is small letters for Instagram. And when you click on my Instagram, there is a link tree. It'll take you everywhere. In my Spotify, Amazon, Deezer, because my music is in all DSPs, like all music. It's available internationally. So you can get me anywhere, YouTube, Spotify. So when you click on my link tree on my Instagram, you'll find me everywhere. Mm -hmm. YouTube is call me, Buzz is capital. Yeah, and Twitter the same. Yeah, any shout out? <coughs> okay, I'd like to shout out uh, the producer, mm -hmm. uh, Steve, Steve Kenya, shout out to you, who made the beats. Shout out to Kerop Music, he helped me with the production process. Shout out to Simara for shooting the video. Shout out to my family for coming, my sisters, sister and Snyder. Shout out to my dad and mom, wherever they are. Yeah, and shout out to my fans for holding me down mm -hmm. through the process. I know the journey is long. I always take a long time to remove music, but as long as I remove quality music, I think that's what matters most. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming through. We do appreciate your time, and we are looking forward to seeing you here again. Yeah. And looking forward to the album dropping, Pole Pole. Yeah, and yeah. happy birthday in advance. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so um, I think you'll do a performance of um, Why You Playing. Yeah, and let's take a look at it and remember to go subscribe to his channel and show him love and support on his socials as well. Yeah.